Hey guys, it's Jesse V. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you two very creepy stories that have to do with photographs. And yes, I'm going to show you those photographs. Get ready. I really feel like these colors I'm wearing remind me of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo right? So if you did not see my previous video, yes, I have a new backdrop for October. This was a cover of one of the Goosebumps books and it says, welcome to horror land. I feel like I really want to go here. I just want to like walk into my backdrop. I wish that was possible. But if you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. So my Jesse V channel, turn on a notification bell and then head over to my Instagram. It is also Jesse V. Give it a follow and send me a DM telling me what your favorite movie is to watch around Halloween around spooky season in October. It could be any movie that gives you the Halloween vibes. It doesn't actually have to be a Halloween movie, but it gives you the spooky vibes. And that's all you have to do to be entered to win. Now, before I start today's video, I have a very exciting announcement. You guys probably know by now that I have a physical store. It's called Jesse V's Peculiar Place in Orangeville, Ontario, Canada. And we are doing our first Halloween event on October 23rd. So if you live in Ontario or maybe in one of the the states nearby and would like to come. It's going to be such a fun time. This is a ticketed event because it's not just a meet and greet. I usually don't charge for just meet and greets. This is like a whole experience. So we're going to completely shut down the shop for this event. So only ticketed people can come in and have a private experience of the store. They're going to have a tour of the warehouse. We're actually turning one of the rooms in our warehouse into a haunted house. Of course, there's also going to be a meet and greet. There's going to be food. We're calling it the fantastic feast. There's going to be trick-or-treating booths everywhere so you can walk around the store and like trick-or-treat. There's literally so much going on. I'm so excited. So if you guys would like to get a ticket, I have linked them down below. We do have limited slots. So we have an event happening from 10 a.m. to 11.30 and then we have a second event from 2 to 3.30 p.m. and I believe there's only about 16 tickets per slot. So they're gonna go really quickly. So if you guys would like to be there, I have linked it down below. By the way, come in costume. It is a costume party. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about our first creepy story. This is called The Girl in the Photograph. The original story is about a teenage boy named Tom who finds a photograph on the ground outside of his school of a beautiful girl holding up her fingers in a peace sign. So she has two fingers up in this photograph. And Tom falls in love with this girl instantly. The moment he sees her face, he's like, I love her. And it's strange because he feels this way even though he's never ever met her before. And he decides right then and there that he has to find a way to meet her, to find out who she is. So he begins asking around the school if anyone knows who she was, but no one had ever seen or heard about her before. After school, he even went up to his older sister, asked her if she knew who this girl was, but she also said no. Because he wasn't getting any answers about her, he became really sad and depressed and hopeless, despite only searching for one day. In his very first day, he already felt defeated. And he just couldn't explain explain the attachment he already felt to her. It was like he looked at the photo and he was like, this is the girl I'm gonna marry. He left the photograph on his bedside table as he slept because he didn't want to be too far away from it. And that night, he was awoken to what sounded like fingernails tapping on the glass of his bedroom window, followed by a giggle. So Tom quickly opened his eyes and saw this shadow outside his window. He got up to investigate and when he opened the window and peered outside, nobody was there. The next day, Tom continued to ask about the girl around his town, around his neighborhood, and even his mother, but still he had no luck. Nobody knew who she was. So Tom went to bed that night again, really depressed, really sad, but he was woken up again by the same tapping on the glass and giggling. This time he grabbed his photograph, ran outside his house, and he began following the giggling through his very dark neighborhood. But he did not watch where he was going, however, and ran into the street and and was struck by a truck, which killed him instantly. And when the driver of the truck quickly got out of the car to try and help Tom, he saw that it was too late. Tom was long gone. But he saw this photograph lying on the pavement beside him. And when he looked at it, he saw this beautiful girl holding up three fingers. And that's how the story ends. So it is so creepy. So basically when people see this photograph of this girl, it causes them to be completely 
in love with her. It's kind of like a curse the moment you lay your eyes on it. So it's supposed to be like a ghost or spirit that is basically brainwashing its victims into trying to find her, to find anything out about her. And then she eventually lures them into dangerous situations. And apparently this girl can change her appearance depending on the viewer to appeal to their individual desires and likes. So her motive is really unknown, but it's still a very disturbing situation. I found another urban legend about a photograph. This one is called The Disappearance of Mrs. Yurno. During her later years, Josephine Yurno would take a walk every evening at dusk around her beloved neighborhood in Norwich, Connecticut. But on November 12th of 1935, she went out on her walk but never returned. Extensive searches were conducted by a large team of volunteers, but no sign of her was ever found. It was like she just disappeared into thin air. Three years later, Mrs. Yurno was found squatting in front of a neighbor's house without a mark on her body and in perfect health. And when people asked where she had been over the last three years, Mrs. Yurno was just unable to understand the question because from her point of view, no time had passed at all, which is so creepy. Against the advice of her neighbors and her doctors, she refused all medical treatment and resumed her life as if nothing had ever happened, including her nightly strolls. And one of her neighbors actually took this photograph of her in the fall of 1938, and clouds of smoke from piles of burning leaves give it an appropriately eerie feel. And on the same date in November of 1940, five years after her initial disappearance, Mrs. Yurno disappeared again, and this time she never ever came back. So this photo is really haunting to people because it shows her going on her walk and she never came back from one of them. So I don't know how real this story is. It's apparently an urban legend that could come from some truth, but I always find it so creepy hearing the backstories behind like phenomenons and photographs. I'll probably do another video like this over the next week because I find it so fascinating. But anyways, guys, that is the end of today's video. Don't forget if you would like to attend the Halloween event that I am hosting, I've put the ticket links down below in the description, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!